How, how did you decide to settle on reconstructing the town in a green sort of way? When I first heard green, I just cringed. I'm a farm boy from western Kansas, born and raised out on the farm, and all I could think of was 1967 tie-dyed shirt, powder blue bell-bottom, double-knit pants, hair down to here, possibly on mind-altering chemicals. Like, like, like all the hippies in this room here. <laughs> and I said, that's not going to work. You know, that, that's crazy talk. But when we frame it around the aspect of our pioneering ancestors on the prairies of uh, western Kansas and all over this United States, they were the original green people because they lived within the resources they had available. They knew how to take advantage of the wind, the solar, and the geothermal. And I talk about my ancestors. The first thing they did was drill a water well for life-sustaining water for them and their livestock. They pumped 56-degree water geothermal out of the ground through a cooling house that cooled their milk and eggs and then into a tower that the sun heated it and they took a hot shower at night. We're trying to do the same things today, Frank. Mm -hmm. It's just that we're trying to do them with the technologies that we have. They didn't spend or do anything more with the environment than they had to because they knew if you took care of the land, it took care of you. It's about conservation values, not liberal or conservative or Republican or Democrat or red or blue, the environment, environmental stewardship's our issue.